Hey friends, today we have something really special. This is Thought Form Invasion, and for some of us, this might hit home. Our objective is simply to go to sleep. But there's something in our room trying to stop us. I've been waiting for this game to release for weeks now, and I'm actually recording it on the launch day. It's completely free, so if you guys think this looks fun, you can try it yourself too. The whole concept kind of reminds me of the idea like when you're a kid, it's dark in your room and you're kind of scared. And then that pile of clothes sitting on the chair kind of looks like some sort of monster. Well, basically imagine that scenario, except there actually is something in your room. I cannot wait to get into this game with you guys. Before we get started with the game, I just wanted to talk to you guys about one thing. Working on yourself is one of the best possible things you can do. And if you are working on yourself and getting results, that can make people around you uncomfortable. They may not necessarily have malicious intent, but I'll give you an example. Say you've been going to the gym and working on yourself physically. Fast forward six months, people are gonna start to notice. Some people in your life will be nothing but proud of you. That being said, your improvement can make others feel uncomfortable about themselves. And when that does happen, approach those situations with kindness and grace. But just know, it is not your fault. You cannot control how others perceive your improvement. I love you guys and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is Thought Form Invasion. Okay, so I moved myself to the other side of the screen because we have a battery meter on the right. Let me show you what's going on here. This is cool. So this is the default screen. The longer we stay here, the more that bar fills up of us trying to fall asleep, but we can hold the E key and we open our eyes and experience the world around us while our battery depletes. So the whole objective is we gotta fall asleep as fast as we can and maybe listen to things. I imagine pointing our flashlight at whatever's in the room with us is going to be beneficial. Oh, that bar is increasing. I think it accelerates. I'm trying to listen for things, but I imagine night one isn't that big of a deal. I'm just going to let it rock and see what happens. This is a really cool concept for a game, though. It kind of reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but, you know, obviously different, not as complicated. The first thing I'm wondering, though, is what is in the room with us? Because the description just says redacted. Light scares them. Okay, so the game is slowly teaching us. Wait, light scares them? So there's a couple things here. The game description just lists it as redacted. Nothing more. Light scares them. I'm like paranoid because I don't even know what I'm looking for yet. And I can barely hear anything. So if you guys are wondering why it's so quiet, it's just a quiet game and that makes sense, right? We're trying to fall asleep. That was normal. I, I, I thought I heard some sort of a... Yep. There's footsteps to the right. Okay, that's there to throw me off. Yeah, I, I'm... I still got my shoes on? There's a lot more ambient noise. 
Yo! Okay. So, TV static, turning on and off, and a faceless man is in our room. Listen very carefully. That was so uncomfortable. I think we're good. Okay. Fell asleep, night two, in the books. This is such a cool concept for a horror game. I love it. Okay, night three. This is probably where things are going to start taking a more difficult turn. Ignore... Noise? But... How do we know what noise to ignore? Should I ignore the footsteps? Oh god. Am I making the right decision? The printer's going off? Gamers. Oh, yep. I know the floorboard creaking is the faceless man. Oh, there's something in the closet! Faceless man. Oh, look, the painting changed. It's the, the, I don't know, um, Saturn eating his son or something. Okay, listen. Listen very closely. Oh, I didn't know he was there. I just totally guessed. So there's something in the closet as well. So three things. Does the painting do anything? Come on. I'm getting paranoid now. Keeping your eyes closed for longer increases the rate. Is it the printer or the microwave? That's the microwave. Someone's grabbing a little snack. I could use a pop pop tart right now. TV's fine. That's just us adjusting, I imagine. <sighs> TV and you're in the closet. I don't want to see what that thing looks like. Because those those eyes are all I'm interested in seeing. And is that painting ever going to change back? Okay. Come on. Nope. That's nothing. Floorboards creaking. That's the faceless man. Oh my god. I, I, um, okay. A lot of these games just do like a, um, oh, you left the entity in the room for too long, so you lose. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to try night three again here. Um, okay, so the only noise that I know is safe is the shuffling to my right, this direction. I didn't hear that, though. How do you get out of the closet? I need to be a little more cautious. Oh. I apologize for 
the scream earlier. Yep. Dude, I don't like you at all. I don't like you at all. That was brutal. I was not expecting that. And the worst part is... Like, compare that to something like Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, you move the laptop down or it just... Or it just appears. In this, your eyes are closed. So you just see pitch black. And then you hold the E key to open your eyes and it's right in your face. Dude, you didn't make any noise then. Or maybe I'm just yapping. I don't care about the printer. Nope. Faceless man, I don't want you near me. I can smell you from down the hall. Yep. The man in the closet is catching me yapping. Nope. <clears throat> man, I think I blew my voice out again. Nope. Printer. Printer's nothing. Or microwave or whatever. Nope. Whew. Here we go. When was he in the closet? I'm paranoid. Come on. Someone's shuffling around there, making me nervous. Just go. Just go. I don't know what was making that noise. Dear God. The deep breathing? Absolutely not. Night four. Listen carefully. I'm trying. Very well designed game. It's so much fun. You guys should try this. Mmm, you didn't make any noise. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. It looks like something out of at a G mod. Faceless man. So there's four entities? Dude, what was that? I'm paranoid. Dude. Our battery is draining like crazy. Oh, come on, man. So if he's breathing like that, if he's breathing, don't open your eyes. If he's breathing, don't open your eyes. Oh my goodness. This isn't even night five. He's breathing right in my face. Here we go. Build that meter. Nothing. Oh, come on, dude. Where did you come from? I, 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 I better just start checking. At least it just lets you, you know, restart. It's gonna make editing this thing a breeze. And I barely gotta cut out anything. Playing it on the other hand. Uh is another story. Come on. Just a quick sweep. When we check, it's all we need. Darn, I fell for it. 
Fell for it. The shuffling. Come on. You gotta let it build. He was in there! Damn it. Oh, this is excruciating. Yep. You got me last time. hear weird ambient noise. It's making me nervous. Oh! The kitchen? Whew. Come on. Yep. Heard that. Heard you. Come on, build. They're just... cheating. Ignore the footsteps. I just guessed. That one's easy. Come on. I'm not doing good. I guessed. Yep. Closet. Come on. Yep. Yep. They're just cheating now. I don't know what that was. That was a new sound. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Night four. Dude, how am I gonna beat night five? You have to listen carefully, but... It's not the same sound cues. Every time. It's different. Like, um, the kitchen stuff was two different ones. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. It starts off slow, so it really incentivizes you to not, um... Use it too much. He's there. Yep. Come on. Get back. I'm confident this time. There you are again. Ignore that. Come on. Getting too paranoid. I'm dropping the ball. I'm throwing. Don't throw. And I don't like that noise. But I don't know what it means. Just... Uh I forgot about the TV. Yep. That's easy. Come on. That 
that one and the TV are easy. We're doing pretty good battery-wise. Oops. Come on. Yep. Getting close to 50. Kitchen could be one of two things, but it's nothing. Come on. There you are. Barely heard that. Good. Microwave. Heard him. Paranoid. Got him. I don't know what that is. Oh! When did he get there? Come on. Come on. Heard that. Heard that. Come on. It's getting dicey. This is not good. This is not good. Come on. Nothing. Nope. Come on. Heard that. Heard that. Two in a row? Three? Go. I'm staying with my eyes shut. I didn't have enough battery to even attempt. So I'm keeping my eyes shut. Oh my god. Final night. Oh, the screen kind of changed. Night five. What? Oh. Pitch darkness. What is that? All right, so that's the new thought form. That's the gameplay loop now. You can't even see any of the room around you other than your flashlight. That's how things get tough. Okay.
I'm going to be very quiet here. I got that sound mixed up with the other one. Okay. So, shuffling on the left, I basically just need to check every time. Um, shuffling on the right, I don't. Wood creaking, I do. And then the hardest one to hear is the very quiet knock. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. it even in these headphones with my volume turned all the way up, it is almost... Um, like... There's like almost no audio, but that's the smiling guy. So here we go. I'm going to be real quiet again here. This is such a good game. Come on. I think I lost. I'm just gonna hold it and see what happens. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. We cannot make mistakes. I have to play perfectly here. I can't waste my flashlight.
head start. Heard that. We're doing okay.
I'm letting it rock. Yes! Yes! Oh! Wow, okay. So, when I was getting into this experience, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. I am so satisfied beating that. The game mechanics were actually very well thought out because the distracting noises... First of all, you had to learn which noises uh, were related to a thought form and which noises were not. But then, sometimes the noises that were not were layered over the noises that were. So, by nights four and five, I basically couldn't talk and play the game at the same time. You really need a good set of headphones with spatial audio um, to, to really play this game. And man, is it incredible. I encourage you guys to try it. It's completely free on itch.io. Please check it out. This was awesome. Gamers, Thoughtform Invasion, thank you so much for playing it with me. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.